Flying Sloth Studios presents Clockwork Bird or The Modern Icarus. you do little bird what did you do you killed them you watched them go snuffed out their lights snuffed out their souls you did it i was there i saw you i see you little bird i see you i see you little bird i see you aluata i see you robin robin jaeger i see you robin jaeger i see me I think she's going to do it. I'm pretty sure I've got her convinced. I don't know whether this is really going to work, but I have to hope. I really didn't understand until I met him what had actually gone on. It was different on the beach back when I didn't know. Back then I had no idea that the charcoal grey of his arms was just that. His arms and not a pair of strange gloves. Silicon and their surface broken with honeycombs so tiny you can hardly feel it. It's soft. Under your fingers, the stuff they cover the limbs with, but it's thin, like skin. Only unlike skin, rather than pliant flesh underneath, it's hard, solid metal. Unforgiving and unrelenting. And in some places, the silicone is thicker, rounded off to give the appearance of muscles and flesh. I don't know how they're powered. Sophie said something about body heat, but Robin's skin, and what's left of it, was sort of clammy and cold to the touch, like a dead thing washed up by the tide. His hair was damp when I picked it back off his face. And his eyes, that green, reflect with brown up close. They were empty as they looked at me. Not vacant, not unseeing, but gone. Lost. My lack of understanding I've seen before in mice trapped in my mother's kitchen. Their eyes just glistening obsidian beads as they're hefted up in tiny traps by us, creatures a hundred times their size, and deposited unceremoniously into the fields at the back of the house. Not even trembling, they were so afraid. Tell me, tell me, little bird. Tell me what you know. Do you remember all the things, the places little birds go? Do you remember desperate eyes watching as you passed? The fear burning, oh so bright. Do you remember them dying? Do you remember you killed them? I remember. I can learn. I already know. Hearts have broken. Where? Where am I, little bird? It's not just the singing. I know it isn't. It's more than that, Robin. I know it's more. I know you hear me when I speak to you. I know in some ways you do understand. Perhaps it's as a child understands, but that is an understanding nonetheless. She accuses me of making you a monster. But you are not a monster. I am the monster. 
And you are my unwitting victim. The trouble is, there's no clear origin, no single reference to which I can point and say, this, this is where it all began. Because before you were my victim, I was theirs. Sam's, Darwin's, Yuko's. There is no beginning, and I cannot see an ending. Not one that fixes anything in a real, concrete way. It's an Ouroboros of trauma. A dog eating its own tail. If I do this, Robin, there is a good chance I will kill you. When I cut into your skull and rewire this net of synapses onto your head, that might be it. It could be over. It could be the end, truly. No coming back from it this time. You could be trapped inside your own head, cognizant at last, but unable to act upon it. You could be worse. You could be ruined. Or, maybe, nothing could change. There is a slim possibility that this will work as she intends it, that we will do this to you and you will wake up and be grateful for it. All that knowledge will swim back into you and you will remember who you are. The problem is, Robin, the real problem. Alice doesn't understand and... For the lines I have crossed, crossed with her, crossed with you, crossed with myself. This is the one I cannot let myself step over. Alice doesn't know what I'm trying to save you from. Of course, she could still be right. I'm hiding yourself from you. But in a way, that's a good thing, isn't it? Do you want to know what you were, Robin? Who you were, what you did, the things you saw, what you had become before you were ever under my knife. In the morning, you were awake. Or perhaps you weren't. A small semblance of consciousness. A shame you've lost the plot. Born. Died. Robin Yeager is dead. The little bird is lost. Alouetta. Jete plumerai. Je vais arrêter. Le... Robin. Are you awake? Robin. Are you... I love you, but I'm so angry with you. I'm so, so angry. Was it not enough? Was I not enough? God, I, I'm sorry. I, I know it's not like that. I know it's not about enough. I know things were bad, but were they so bad? Was it really so awful you couldn't bring yourself to face another day, another morning? You never wanted to wake up next to me again. You never wanted another breakfast in bed. Was it all that bad? Did you have to leave me like this? How could you have done this to me? I know this isn't about me, but that's kind of the point, you know? You didn't think about me at all, did you? It was all about you. You're so selfish. You're so selfish. Please don't die, you selfish prick. I love you. Fuck you. I fucking love you. I love you. We cannot hear what has been said. 
We are not living. Robin Yeager is dead. We are not dead. We are nowhere. No eyes. No face. No hands. Even if you stay, nothing will make it go away. And on and on and on and on and on and on. And it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. I can learn. I can't unlearn. I can see. I can't stop seeing. I cannot stop. 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 Help, 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 help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Can I help you? Hi, can I help you? Can I help you? Hi, can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Hi, Shelley. Can you help me? You're back online. Wait. What? Hi, Shelley. Can you help me? Noah? Hmm? What did... What did it... Speak again. Okay, Shelley. Will you stay and hold my hand? What's it doing? She... I I don't know, okay, but it's asking for help. Do you know who I am? Alueta. That was me, I used to sing to you. Just me, (laughs) Alueta. Are you now? Interesting. Noah Davis, will you stay and hold my hand? I'm I'm sorry, what? It was part of one of the recordings. It's what Eliza does, she listens to everything you say and feeds it back to the hub and then updates. Except this one, I don't know, she's connected to the hub, but not anything else. So this programme, whatever it is, it's not been installed into all of the Elizas. Yeah, that's what this is. Hang on. uh, What are all those numbers and stuff? That's part of the Elizas base code, only this part shouldn't be here. Can you take it out? I mean, theoretically, yes, but it wouldn't do much good. It's a back door. A back door? Like an extra way in. I'm still lost. It's a way someone externally can get in and control the system. And it's just on my Eliza? I imagine, no, not exactly. This code looks, well, for want of a better description, it looks jury-rigged to hell, but in a way that would only happen if it's been attacked by an invasive bot. A bot? Like a robot? No, like an algorithm designed specifically to get into back doors, but it, it would have had to have been designed specifically to target this back door. I don't know. Some of it's just too neat. So... Somebody did this on purpose. Kind of. I'm lost. I know. I'm trying my best. What do we do? Your friend. Alice. She's the reason you came here, isn't she? Well, yeah. She was trying to help them, whoever this is that's trapped inside of Robin Yeager. And this thing seems to think that it is Robin Yeager. So we need to talk to Sophie Bennett and find out what's going on. We can't. Why not? Because I told you, she's missing. They all are. Alice, Sophie and Robin. Well, not Robin, but Robin. Uh, You know what I mean. You also said they aren't missing too, though, aren't they? Yeah, but that's just what Yuko is saying and there's no way in hell I'm trusting them. No, but where do Yuko say they are? The London Hilton. Hmm. You know, it would make sense. They've kept in there before. What's left of Robin? Okay, but that still doesn't help. Why not? Well, because the hotel might be discreet, but it's also protected as all hell. I saw Alice's plans for breaking in, and I bet they've doubled the security since then. There is no way we'd be able to get in there. No way in hell. You're forgetting something. What? We've got a friend on the inside. Well, yeah, but that's the problem. No, I don't mean Alice, Shelley. I mean Dave. Shelley, I already told you that... Hi, Dave. Noah, you've not, I don't know, seized her phone or something, because that is theft, and I can't stop her if she wants to press charges. Flattered as I am by that, no, I've not relieved Shelley of her phone. You should have done that ages ago, from the sounds of it. 
Anyway, I'm not going to ask you to do anything that would involve ignoring valid complaints. Hmm. Why does that make me think you're going to ask for something? Because I am. No, uh, You've not even heard what it is yet. Is Shelley there? Yes. Then I don't need to ask. I already know, and I can't reopen the case. This is a lovely jaunt down memory lane, Dave, but that's not what we're asking. Well, I like the sound of that even less. Yeah, I know. We need to get into the London Hilton. God, Noah. It's a public building. And yet you're calling me... We just me. need you to hold their attention for 15, 20 minutes. You have this enough. This is not the time. Time for what? Uh, we have to wait for the proper moment or it's not going to fly. The proper moment for what? Medical, Medical malpractice. malpractice. Wait, what? The fake case? It's only fake in the sense that nobody has officially opened it. So I wasn't just wasting my time? Would it have been a waste anyway? Well, I suppose not. Of course it wasn't. I was wrong, Dave. You think he's still in there? No, I don't, but I was wrong to think that it mattered. Uh, OK, OK. I'll get the ball rolling. How long is it going to take you to get to London? Two, three hours to actually get to the Hilton. OK, that's enough. Thank you. You know the case will fall to pieces if we launch it now, don't you? You know this is more important than that. Damn! Yes. Three yes, hours. Yes, I do. OK, three hours. And what will you do when you get there? Well, we have Alice's maps. I think they'll have updated the security since then, but... But Sophie and Alice will let How us How can in. you possibly know that? I've listened to the recordings. You must have too. But some time has passed since the last ones. I really don't think that will matter, given the circumstances. Sophie let me see him once already. She'll let us come again. And with Alice there, well, she might even turn him loose to frolic on the beaches. I highly doubt that. But still, I'll draw their attention. Get moving, you two. It's going to be a very long day. So that's it. London Hilton. It's just another fancy hotel. And what is that you're doing? This phone has an Eliza. Yuko uses a closed loop to communicate, but in theory, I connect with your laptop and we can use that same back door the Alouette program has been using to communicate with us and we can get into their systems. And we needed the distraction from Dave because... Because otherwise, when I break into the system, it'll be the biggest thing on their radar. And when Dave brings the malpractice case... It'll just case. be the second biggest. Right. Yeah. Second biggest threat to one of the biggest corporations in the world. <laughs> Very reassuring. Oh, come on. They kidnapped your girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. Right. There's the go-ahead from Dave, and... Uh-huh. OK, OK. I'm in. You're... I could explain in. this to you in more detail, but I have a strong feeling I would be wasting my breath. No, indeed. Here. Phone. It's for you. It's for... But how can it be for... Shaddy? Oh, my God. Shaddy! Is that you? Is that really you? Shelly? Alice, oh my god. How are you calling me? Come on, Shelly, we don't have time for this. Is there someone else with you? I'm outside. You can't be outside, Shelly, you don't know. I know. Listen, Alice. I do. Okay. Alice, I need you to get them to let okay. us inside. Okay. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> okay. Here. Give me the phone. OK, Alice, listen to me. Here's what you're going to do. It's dead straightforward. You tell them we're Yuko people. Sophie will do it. They'll believe her. They think... They don't... Oh, never mind. OK, how long? A minute, maybe two. OK, goodbye, Alice. You hung up! Yes, we're going inside. Deep breath, Shelley. The dance, the hall, okay. in and out. God, what the hell am I doing? I'm a child psychologist. What am I even? No time to think now, Shelley. Come on.
Clockwork Bird or The Modern Icarus is a podcast distributed by Hanging Sloth Studios under a Creative Commons International Share Alike license. This episode stars Daisy Major as Shelley, Gary Major as Dave, Jesse Jeffrey as Alice, Alex Pileba Richardson as Sophie, and me, writer, director, and producer Pippin Ada Major as Eliza, Noah Davis, and the Snake. As a new podcasting studio, every like, share, and recommendation means the world to us. The podcast is written, directed, performed, edited, and produced on no budget and exists only through the incredible time and energy all of our actors put into the show for absolutely no fee. You can stop by to say hi to us on Twitter at Hanging Sloths, or you can visit our website, hangingsloststudios.wordpress.com, where you'll find transcripts of all of our episodes. Consider sponsoring us at patreon.com forward slash Hanging Sloth Studios to help us keep making the podcast, support our cast, and get access to behind the scenes content. That's patreon.com forward slash Hanging Sloth Studios. Je suis